Yo, what is going on? Welcome back to another play review on the channel today. Now, just before we get into this, if you don't mind hitting the like button and subscribing, that would mean a lot to me. So, um, Yari Lippman, I think that is his name, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, this is the squad we did use him in. Uh, it's a 4 3 1 2. It's the first time I've used it this year, and I was actually quite happy with how it played. So, in net, we've got, uh, I want to say, Casper Schmeichel then, Peter Schmeichel, 300k cost me. Uh, there is another review coming out on him very, very shortly, so stay tuned for that if you want to see that. We've got Inform Valencia, Baye, Boateng, and Brzezinski. And we've got Dahoud, Gundawan, Herrera, obviously Litmanen, Abamyang, and Rashford in the team. So, Litmanen cost me 300k. I did snipe him. He's not worth much more than that. I think he's worth about 310, 320. But I did pack him, I mean, did snipe him for 300. Uh, thought it was a decent buy. Uh, you can see by his stats, he's got 76 pace, 85 shooting, 84 passing, 80 dribbling, 33 defending, and 61 physical. He's 5 foot 11, medium medium work rates, 4 star weak foot, which is very nice, 3 star skill, and he's right footed. So, into his attributes, he's got uh, 75 acceleration and 76 sprint speed, 94 attacking positioning, which is very very high, 85 finishing, which is great for where I played him in cam. Uh, 80 shot power, which is not too bad. 85 long shots, 89 volleys, and 88 penalties. So you expect him to be able to score a lot of pot shots and uh, just decent shots, really, around in and around the box. Uh, passing wise, as well, he's got 84 passing, but he has got 87 vision, 88 short pass, 84 curve, and he's only got 78 long pass. Hand dribbling wise as well, it only says 80 on the card, but he's got 92 composure, 83 reaction to 86 ball control. Uh, he's got alright heading accuracy, his stamina isn't great, but neither is any of the legends, and his strength is pretty poor at 69. So yeah, this is uh, Lipmanen's 85 version of the card. This is his lowest version, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get into the clips now and I'll tell you what I think of him. Right then, so into the pros and cons of Lipmanen. Uh, I'm going to start off with the pros, obviously, because that's what you want to hear. But I've got to say, there are quite a lot of uh, bad points about him as well. I'm going to show you his goals first. He only did score two, but they were both quite decent goals, so we will get on to it. So, first of all, he's got he's got a pretty decent shot, like as you would expect for a icon with good finishing, good long shots and stuff like that. You'd expect him to have good finishing. So, his finishing is decent. If the post was a little kinder to me in these games, he would have had probably double the goals he had. Did at the post quite a lot of him. I'm not sure if that's down to me or the card. So, I'd say his shot's alright. I'd give it like a solid 7, 8 out of 10. Also, his short and long passing's really good. Uh, I think he got 6 assists in the 4 games I played with him. So, that's definitely something I can't take away from him. His, his passing is very, very good. Uh, it's probably one of the best passes I've used yet, but I've not used too many high-end players, so that might change in the coming weeks. But, yeah, passing's decent. Also, his first touch is pretty nice. You may notice in a few of these clips that the ball sort of sticks to him when, when the ball gets passed to him. Even though a lot of the time I was holding sprint when I was receiving the ball of him, which he shouldn't do, but he did seem to still have a good touch. And the last uh, pro is the fact he's got a four-star weak foot. I know a lot of um, a lot of legends or icons, whatever you call them, have got four star weak foots, five star weak foots. But it is a pro, and it's definitely something to think about when using him because you can you can shoot and pass on any foot. But unfortunately, that's as far as the pros. So the negatives, I've got about five um, listed. His work rates for me, they, they seemed really dodgy. Um, just interrupt that there. That pass that he made was so crucial. It actually won me that game, won me the daylight knockout tournament. So pretty good for that. But yeah, his work rates, he has medium medium I think, and I was playing him in cam, but he seemed to be so deep in the pitch, he seemed to be sitting with the other three centre mids, which like really annoyed me, but that was uh, that was one of the worst things about him, in terms of how he performed in game. Also his strength and aggression combination was really bad, uh, he seemed to get knocked off the ball by everyone, I think he has 69 strength and 22 aggression, he's like the least aggressive player in the whole game, uh, he he just couldn't win anything back. He just seemed to let the ball go easily. It was very very annoying. Also, he uh, he seemed really stiff and agile. Um, not agile. He seemed very stiff and unagile in the game. Uh, like if I was trying to turn with him, he seemed to turn like a like a six foot ten player or something. It was it was pretty weird and pretty annoying. It didn't seem to be able to dribble with him very well. And also, one of his worst things was his pace. His pace seemed so lacklustered. I had uh, Herrera and Gundogan in the midfield with him, 
well, just behind him. I think they in game they've got less pace, but they seem twice as quick. He just seemed like a really slow player. Uh, couldn't couldn't burst away from anyone. Couldn't pace anybody. No centre backs. Nothing. He just he sort of just like waddled around the pitch as if he was had like fifty pace. He, he felt like a Tony Cruz or something. And last con, which may not be a con to many people, it's usually not to me, but I thought I'd mention it anyway. And it's the fact that he's got three star skill moves. If he had a four-star skill move, he he might be decent. He might be more usable. Uh, you know, be able to do some turns and stuff like that. But he couldn't do that either, and it was pretty annoying. So overall, I'm gonna say, player-wise, he's probably like a seven out of ten, um, maybe six point five out of ten. But value for coins at this current rate, like currently in the market, he's not really worth it. Uh, there's a lot of better cams out there. A lot of better strikers that you can convert down, a lot of better centre mids that you can convert up that would just be better than him. So I'd, I'd only give him like a 3 out of 10 value for coins. But uh, that's my opinion. If you want to try him out for yourself, go for it. If you're from Finland, go for it. But if you've not got many coins, I wouldn't bother trying him out yet. He's, he's just not worth it. But yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.